stranger danger, stranger danger is a scary text story about a boy called Kobe who makes a new friend online, based on a short story by author R.D. Friend. Dad, hi son, son, hi dad, what is new is it now? Dad, I'm sorry I can't be there, I was laid on business. Then it's only for one night. Oh, tomorrow. Dad, are you sure you're okay? All on your own? Dad, I still could get a babysitter to come over. Boy, son grown. I don't need a babysitter. Son, I'm ten. I can take care of myself. Dad, are you sure? It'd be scary spending the night alone. Son, yeah, I'm sure. Dad, well, it's past your bedtime. Son, nah. Dad, how about I tell you a bedtime story? Son, sigh, if you must. Dad, something wrong? Son, is it going to be another stupid scary story? Dad, what? I thought you liked my stories. Son, maybe when I was a little kid, but not, they're not scary now. Dad, alright, I get it. So you, you're now, you're ten. You're a big man. Dad, all grown up and nothing can scare you anymore. Dad, son, well, your stories are kind of lame. Son, sorry Dad, just being honest. Son, if you're going to tell a scary story, son, you need to make sure it's really scary. Dad, I see. Dad, well, there is one story I could tell you. Dad, but I don't know. Dad, it might be a bit too scary. Son, I can handle it. Dad, okay, here we go. Dad, once upon a time there's a boy named Kobe. Son, ah, oh, the start is like a fairy tale. Bear, son, bear with me. Dad, this boy named Kobe used the internet, internet a lot. Dad, he tried a lot of websites. Dad, he started talking to other kids online. Dad, he made friends with other boy. Another boy called Strange Danger too. Dad, they liked them same movies and TV shows. Dad, they played games together online. Dad, they chatted and laughed at each other jokes. Son, they, then they got married and lived happily ever after at the end. Dad, not quite. Dad, after they had been friends for a few months, Dad, Stranger Danger heard that Kobe's birthday was coming up. Dad, since they were best friends, Dad, Stranger Danger 23, wanted to send him a cool present. Dad, he sent Kobe. He asked Kobe his home address. Dad, Kobe was hesitant at first. Dad, he thought about it for a while. Dad, he had known Stranger Danger 23 for a long time. Dad, so he figured it would hurt him to give him his address. Dad, as long as he promised not to give it to anyone else. Dad, Stranger Danger War swore, 23 swore he wouldn't. Dad, so Kobe gave him an address as Stranger Danger 23 he said. Dad he, Dad, he could mail the package right away. Dad, do you think that was a good idea? Son, oh, probably not. Dad, well... After a while, neither did Kobe, Dad. The boy was second thoughts about giving out his address, Dad, especially to someone he didn't know. Dad, his parents had always told him not to do that. Dad, he felt nervous about the guilty, about, um, nervous and guilty about it. Dad, the fear and the gold grew, guilt grew and grew, Dad, until they were gawing away at him. Dad, by bedtime the next night, Dad, he decided to tell his parents that he had done. Dad, and they were probably very angry. The night they would even punish him. Dad, they would be worth it. But his mind at ease. Dad, he lay in his bed. He waited for his parents to come upstairs to tuck him in. Dad, Kobe lay there in the darkness and listened. Dad, he listened to the noises throughout the house. Dad, the humming on the refrigerator in the kitchen. Dad, the sound of the TV in the living room. Dad, the cries of his baby brother in the back room, the soft patter of the rain outside, Dad, the scraping of branches against his window, Sam, the stories, stories putting me to sleep, 
said, but there was some other noises he couldn't quite account for. Dad finally heard his fo- dad's footsteps coming up the stairs. Dad, hey, Dad. Kobe called out nervously. Dad, can't I, can I talk to you for a minute? Dad, in the darkness, he saw the bedroom door slowly creep open. Dad, his son, Dad struck his head through the doorway. Dad, yes, son, said his dad in a muffled voice. Dad, are you okay, Dad? The boy asked. Dad, yes, son, his dad replied. Dad, hmm, is mum around? Dad, here I am, said his mother in a high-pitched voice. Dad, she struck her head through the doorway as well. Dad, what do you want to tell us, she asked. Dad, oh, I think I made a mistake, said Kobe. Dad, I accidentally gave your address to someone on the internet. Dad, oh, you shouldn't have done that, said his mum. Dad, you told you never to do that. Dad, who did you give it to, asked his dad. Dad, ah, oh, his name, this kid named Stranger Danger 23, said Kobe. Dad, oh, but he wasn't really, he wasn't really a kid, said his mum. Dad, he just pretended to be a kid to fool you. Dad, and do you know what he did? Dad, he broke into your house and murdered both of us. Dad, just so we could spend time with you, some time with you. Son, oh my God, Dad, all of a sudden the door opened wide. Dad, a fat man with a yellow raincoat stood there in the doorway. Dad, he was holding something in his hands. Dad, the severed heads of Kobe's mum and dad. Could Kobe grasped and let out a shriek of terror. Dad, the man dropped the heads on the floor and took out his knife. Son, no, no, no. Dad, after several hours, the boy was almost dead. Dad, his terrified screams become pitiful whimpers. Dad, the killer, noticed something. Dad, he heard the baby crying in the other room. Dad, he bent down and pulled his knife out of the dead bloody mess that was once been Kobe. Dad, then he turned and followed the sound of baby cries. Dad, he got to the nursery. He walked up to the crib. Dad, he picked the baby up and held it in his arms. Dad, the baby stopped crying. He took, looked up to him and smiled. The man was never held a baby before. Dad, he stroked the baby's cheek. Then he walked out of the nursery and took the baby with him. He took the dad. He took the baby home and raised him as his very own son. Dad. He named him William. Son, but my dad. But dad, my name is William. Dad, I know it, son. Dad, son, son. Dad, Will. Dad, William. Dad, are you still? Are you still there, son? Dad, was that scary enough for you? Dad, want to hear another one? Dad. Oh, hello, sleep tight, son.